Hi, I'm Janke and I would like to demonstrate to you my Adreno Eclipse plugin. We're here on a system for which is Windows 7 and it has uh, Arduino Eclipse in uh, Arduino installed and it has Eclipse with the CTT installed. We ju I just started Eclipse and, um, and it created a new workspace. Every new workspace you can link to another Arduino. So after we got rid of the first uh, screen, the first thing you have to do is install the new installed Eclipse. Um, Eclipse is already installed here, so we don't need to install it, but I'll show you how you do it. You type here the uh, Eclipse, uh, the name, and currently the latest version is here on the uncategorized 122. If you install this version by clicking here and then next, it will install, restart your system. We're not going to do that here because that's already done. Once you've installed it, you have to configure the preferences. In the preferences, you have Arduino, you have Arduino, and here you can provide your Arduino path. This allows you to have multiple workspaces, each with another, with a different Arduino EDE. Here on my system, the Arduinos are installed on the D drive. The private libraries is a new feature and it's exactly the same as in the Arduino EDE. It allows you to have your own folder which contains libraries you quite often use. So we have here my personal libraries which I downloaded and created myself. I click use Arduino EDE uh, tools in Eclipse. It shows you here that it is Arduino 1.0.1, .1, which is the very latest version at this point in time. So I click OK. Now I have configured Eclipse to work with Arduino and it should work fine. So we have to create a new project. Of course we create an Arduino project, which is a new Arduino sketch. It asks me the name. So I call it a serial demo because this is about demonstrating the serial monitor. The board I have here at hand is currently an Arduino Dual Novi with 328 and that's connected on port 12. So I click finish. Now you see that it creates two projects. One is the Arduino library you should not care about that one and the other one is a serial demo which contains two files, a CPP file and a header file. If you don't understand what the CPP file is about you're probably better off using the Arduino EDE directly. Now, because this is a serial demonstration we have to, we'll add this line here and uh, we add some other code to demonstrate what it's all about. So basically I create a static int and um, I print board number one and a number and I crease it all the time. Note that the environment currently thinks that serial and stuff like that is not properly defined, that's why he put these bar things here. To get rid of it, the best thing to do is in preferences, C++, the indexer, at and front uh, io.h and arduino.h. If you're using an older version you have to had the correct header file there as well. That's not enough. We also have to do all this here and this here and this here and this. If we're lucky we get rid of it. It doesn't work all the time. Anyway, it's not really a problem because if you compile you can look at the console window. The console window is the same window as you have at the bottom in your Arduino EDA. It gives you all the information about what's going on. 
you see a bit more information you can easily scroll to, and you see it compiled fine now if I click this button oops if I select my project and I click that button it will upload it to the mm. I took the wrong COM port and I'm trying to upload it to my Mega which doesn't work so we'll have to wait to timeout so we have to put here the other port so it's the 14 which is the Dune movie uh, and we can just resend it. Great, that works. Now, where is the serial monitor? We have Windows, Show View, other Arduino serial monitor. Now, this is the serial monitor. I'm going to make it a bit bigger. To add a monitor, you do this here. It was port 12 and I always use this power trait. Now you can see here that it's COM12 and you can see here that it's now logging uh, all the information. If you click auto scroll just as if you were in Arduino ED you see it starts scrolling. If you want to send something to board 12 you can type something here you can select whether you want a carriage or the new line or nothing and you can just send it. If you want to reset the board, you can just press reset and it will set, which you can see because the numbers start again from 1. Now, if you're running this and you're trying to upload the board again, yeah, you will see that he switches to the console, but you can also see that the serial monitor uh, was disconnected and was reconnected. Yeah, So, that works fine. Now, the serial monitor supports more than one board. To demonstrate that, I will connect to another board. Uh, I will create a new project. Now, another sketch. Uh, serial demo 2. And now I'm taking my Mega. Um, Arduino, that's the one I have, which is on the 12 port. And finish. Now, note that I made a small boo boo because I connected to 12 or I connected to the Mega. So you have been seeing what's running on the Mega, which is exactly the same code except for there's a board 2 here. So disconnect from the 12 and connect to the correct board it's also clear button here so now we see it's board 1 we can also reset it and stuff like that now we take for the second here second uh, which is the mega Take this mega board here. So now we have the second uh, serial, the code for the second board. We compile it. Now we're compiling for uh, the mega. So that runs fine. We upload to the mega. That runs fine. And we have the serial monitor still running on board 1. So if we also want to connect to the Mega, we need to connect to port 12. Uh, and now you see he's starting to run to log in red and white. That's so what he actually dumps is this is the tool which dumps that he's trying to connect to Pocom 12 and to the, at this baud rate. And all the logging now in red is for my Mega board and all the ones in black is from my Dune Movie board. 
Sometimes they can be scrambled, that's why the color code is very important, so you can kind of like understand what's going on. And this all works. If you press the clear button, it clears it. Uh, if we reset now, we reset the one on COM14, which is the Mega, so which uh, which is the Dumonove, which means that uh, that's one out for a while. If we select 12 first here and we do reset, we reset the Mega, and it's a, the Mega is a while not visible. It's all black for a while. If we go to 14 and do reset, it's all red for a while. So, that was my little demonstration. Hope you liked it and hope you can enjoy the serial monitor.